The other day I got asked a question on Instagram about uh, the different finishes you can get with your paints and I was asked the question what does it matter the different paint whether it be matte, satin or gloss and if there was a difference and to be honest I, I was a little bit surprised by that sort of question because I thought that it was a little bit obvious but I guess when you're starting out in this hobby you might not necessarily know uh, what the difference between a matte satin and gloss paint are and I can relate to that because now that I think back on it I actually had no idea what the differences were too so what I'm going to do in this video is a very quick rundown on the differences between a matte satin and gloss why you might use each one and which ones might be best depending on your circumstances so join me in this video as I take a look at matte satin and gloss paints and see what the difference is Hi, I'm Matt and you're watching Model Minute. So today I'm going to be showing you this and this is something that I've just been working on. I've done this in probably about five minutes and I've left it to dry. This is just a bit of sprue from another plastic kit left over. I think it was like drop tanks from a Hawker Fury which I built years ago. I don't know where the Fury is anymore but I've still got these drop tanks. And I thought to myself, these would make a perfect uh, sample, a perfect example to do some test beds with. So what I'm going to do is show you what I've done to it and then talk about the different kinds of paints. So first up, I've got this black matte spray paint. And what I'm going to do is just spray the entire sprue with this paint. As always, if you're going to do any spray painting, make sure you use a suitably ventilated environment or the correct personal protective equipment. I tend to do most of my spray painting outdoors so it's not really a problem uh, but for this I'll just do this quick in front of the camera. So the entire sprue has been given a spray of this black matte paint. The next step it will be to mask one of these drop tanks so that it remains in the matte finish. I'm going to use this plastic coat satin varnish to paint the middle two uh, parts of the sprue. So once again a quick spray and I leave it to dry. Thirdly I'm going to repeat the process, mask the satin parts and now I'm going to use this lacquer. This lacquer will have a gloss finish and it will have a longer drying time. So with that now done and those all now dry you can see that I've got one part on the end which is in matte finish, two in the middle which is in satin and one on the far end which is in gloss. Now hopefully you might be able to notice that there is a little bit of a difference between each one. So let's take a look at the matte one first. The matte one has very little shine to it. Now depending on your paints, um, if you don't mix your paints properly and you're supposed to have a matte paint and it comes out not in a matte finish, that's probably because you've not mixed it properly. The same with the satin and the gloss. Again, if it comes out more gloss or less gloss than it should be, it's probably because you haven't mixed it. So first of all, make sure you mix your paints properly before you use them. So the first one is the matte finish. And you can see that it is, it's just black and it has very little shine to it. And that's the purpose of a matte finish is that it's supposed to look like a piece of paper which hasn't had any wax or anything on it. It's supposed to be a dull, flat color. And matte finishes were quite frequently used on military vehicles because you don't want a shiny vehicle reflecting the sunlight and giving away its position. Next one up we've got the satin varnish and the satin varnish is a bit shinier than the matte varnish but it's not as shiny as a gloss varnish. Now I like to use a satin one because it's not so shiny. Um, it doesn't take as long to dry as a gloss varnish and you can apply decals on top of it. If you apply decal straight onto the matte finish you're going to end up probably with some silvering underneath. Uh, the silvering is usually caused by tiny little air bubbles because the matte surface is going to be a little bit rough whereas the satin surface is going to be smoother and the gloss surface is going to be even more smoother and that's where you get the shine from. So the satin is like a medium shine sort of finish and you would find that on a lot of different things um, you know cars, ships, um, even aircraft today will have like a satin finish um, Military aircraft still prefer matte, so they don't go all shiny and reflect stuff, but satin is a sort of in-between. And then finally, gloss, that's the last one on the sprue. And the gloss is your really super shiny finish. 
Now gloss is the best one for applying decals on top of because it will be smooth and you won't get any of those trapped air bubbles and it will help prevent silvering completely. You do run a little bit of a risk with satin because it's not as shiny but the problem you might have is when you try to go from a gloss finish back to a matte finish you might never go back to it being a pure matte again it might just stay somewhere in between sort of in a satin sort of range but this is sort of a spectrum so say for example you've got uh, something like this this is a humbrol 135 which is a satin varnish and i mix it with this which is a 49 matte varnish i'm going to get something that's more shiny than a matte varnish but not as shiny as a satin varnish so you can mix them up a little bit to get a sort of finish that you need but if you spray something in gloss and then you want it to be matte again you might find it probably won't go quite back to being a matte finish you'll get it it will still be a bit shiny it won't be like as dull as it is on this sprue here so you can get satin, matte and gloss in both acrylic and enamel. I primarily work with acrylic and enamel. You can get other uh, base paints as well, but um, those are the two that I primarily work in. And it just sort of depends on your preference. I always find that gloss takes longer to dry than matte and satin paints. Acrylics and enamels do again have their differences on top of that, but that would be a video for another day. So for those of you who've just started out in the world of modelling, I hope that this has really helped you get a bit of an understanding on the differences between matte, satin and gloss varnishes. And hopefully it might point you in the right direction when you come to finish your models next time. Let me know in the comments below if this video has helped you and feel free to post any suggestions for more videos that you might like to see of this nature. As always, a big shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. To find out more about pledging your support and the extra perks that you get, such as early access to videos and behind the scenes content, take a look at the links in the description. Don't forget that you can connect with me on social media. I'm on Discord, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And all that's left to say is thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the workbench again next time.